on this part we are going to add the actor service and then we are going to implement the get all method and then we are going to use this service to get the data from the database instead of using the appdb context file in the actors controller let us go to visual studio and write some code in here let us go to the solution explorer and then inside the services folder we are going to add a new class so add a new class we are going to name this class the actors service and then click the add button now here to be able to implement the iActors service interface methods, we need to inherit from this interface. For that, in here I'll just type column and then iActors service. You see that you get an error, and that's right because you are trying to inherit from the iActors service, which is an interface. So for the error to go away, you need to implement all these methods. So just implement interface and all the methods will be added in here and we are going to start with the get all method but to be able to work with the database we need to create a constructor and inside the constructor we are going to inject the app db context file so basically if you go to the solution explorer and then in here go to the controllers folder and then actors controller we are going to see that to get the data from the database we are injecting the appdb context inside the controller we are going to remove this injection from here and we are going to have it in the actors service so in here i'll just paste the appdb context underscore context then i'll create a constructor ctr then we're going to inject the appdb context in here so inject and then inside the constructor, we are going to have underscore context is equal to the context. Now, if you scroll down in here, we have the get all method. And in here, we're just going to get a result of our result is equal to, and this is now going to be context dot actors dot to list. And then down here, just return the result. Now let us go back to the actors controller. Now, instead of injecting the MDB context, we are going to inject the iActors service. So iActors service, let us import the namespace and that is the etickets.data.services. And this is now going to be the underscore service. Let us inject it in our constructor, control C, and then just replace the appdb context. I'm going to remove the underscore. And then in here, we're going to have the underscore service is equal to the service. And now down here on the index part, instead of using the context, now we are going to use this service, so underscore service dot get all method. Now, if you want to change this method or this implementation to be an async implementation, you need to first modify the iActors service. So in here, instead of returning i enumerable, you are going to return a task i enumerable. So this is going to be a task. Now let us go to the actor service because we are going to have an error in here. And if you scroll up, if you hover in here, it says that the get all method, so there is a problem in the get all method, it cannot be implemented because it does not have the matching return type of task i enumerable. So let us scroll down in here and change the return type from i enumerable actor to task. And then in here, instead of having the context.actors.toList, we are going to use the to list async. So to list async. Let us import the namespace for the to list async. That belongs to the Microsoft.entity framework core. And now we have a to list async. Let us await. And then in here add async in front of the task. And now everything works as expected. Now let us go to the actors controller 
and in here let us modify the return type from public i action result to public async then task i action result and then here we're going to have the var data await and then just return the view data now let us run the app and see if everything works as expected now that we are using this service instead of the appdb context file so just start you can see that the build was successful so the app ran successfully let us go in here to the actors controller so actors then press enter now you can see that we get an exception and the exception is of type invalid operation exception and the message is unable to resolve this service i actors service and that is right because we didn't register this service in the startup.cs file and that is what you're going to learn on the next part